Here we go, guys. Prophet with angel come straight. I am on the same pedestal, same level with, you know, the late prophet T.B. Joshua. I see what he sees. He sees what I see. We are the goat in the prophetic. Let's go get this one. Let's go. Of the spirit, what the prophet would have seen would be a flight in the realm of the spirit, a flight taking off. Hmm? Within a few seconds, it falls. But that's the seconds in the realm of the spirit. And God would lead you with that information. So when you come out now, you have to explain what you saw that God never described how many days, how many minutes, how many hours. You have to actually use your own mind. He created us with a brain. Perhaps some of you have never seen it. Science is actually proven to us with the brain and the Bible confirms it. So when you come out, if I come to you and say, I'm seeing you as a millionaire. You know, I can take you. Listen, this sighting has been actually given to me by God to have a sight that you are going to be a multi-millionaire. Watch this. But what God might not tell me is how many days. So if I come out on my own to try and explain, I have to use my faith to override your faith so that your faith and mine cooperate together to get what we need. And if we don't believe what the prophet has done, we will fail to find that plane in seven days and call the prophet a fake prophet. Yet in that moment, and I am the biggest stakeholder in the prophetic. Not one, not one prophet had even seen the flight disappearing. Not one, only to be Joshua saw it. And we are concentrating on it. Was it found in seven days after? I, wait a minute, did you see it? No. Did anyone see it? No. Any prophet who claims to be anything, did they see it? No. Only to be Joshua saw it. So when he saw it, he described only this part. But in the vision, it's a few seconds. Airport, he sees the sea. So since in the vision he's seeing it, guess what he's seeing? He's only seeing a quite a number of things. The truth is happening. And in the realm of the spirit, the vision is taken maybe a few seconds. Now he is out of the vision now. He's thinking, if this took off, and I saw it in seven days. That means it's in seven seconds or five seconds. That means it was so quick. Interpretation of prophecy is the most difficult thing. Do you know the book of Daniel? Do you know why he was fasting for 21 days? He had read the prophecy. And the Bible says, I set to understand the words of the prophecy. And I fasted for 21 days to understand the prophecy. He was a prophet trying to understand prophecy. <laughs> Nah, you're missing the point. I'm here to submit this as a prophet to generations. T.B. Joshua was a genuine prophet. Don't listen to nonsense. People said, so are you supporting all the things that happened with him? Uh, so, <clears throat> these are words from the prophet. And you know, Prophet Uber Angel Rock's shoulders with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Do you know T.B. Joshua? Do you know Prophet T.B. Joshua? And then, you know, it transcends beyond or it goes beyond. I'm just using basically the same words, all right? It goes beyond the fact that he's just, you know, one of the greatest in the prophetic to, to let's talk even about the the... Uh, how do you charity works that he does? You know, these men will carry, you know, trailers of bags of rice and grains. What you can even mention? What do you want to mention? And give to the poor and the needy, goes to the extreme, giving to what, you know, even the Islam fraternity. This is a prophet we are talking about. He's so good with healing. 
He's so good with deliverance. He's so good with the prophetic as well. The man even prophesied about a whole lot of things like national prophecy. And then now correlating or let's build, you know, comparative conversation here. Look at prophet Uber Angel, what he does. Detailed prophecies, international prophecies, football prophecies. Now, let me not even say football, sports, because it goes to another level of, you know, sporting activities to predict, not predict, to prophesy. He even claims that he changes the score line of some of these events. Now, this is Prophet of the Angel we are talking about. This is one of the greatest that we are talking about. So somebody will say eh, he's not supposed to be rocking shoulders or comparing himself to TB Joshua. Bro, you are not doing it. And we thank God he is here and even comparing himself to TB Joshua. If it were to be you, you would rather say TB Joshua is not even a prophet. Come on, bro. So, we are glad as a fraternity to have this great man of God. You know, <clears throat> Uber Angel, there is a video on my channel about prophecies on football. That is, if you go into my videos now, that will be the first video you see, like at the very bottom. It was about his prediction on one team winning the Premier League, which was Manchester City. And then this year, Manchester City have won, since then, Manchester City have won the Premier League over and over and over again. Now, he did that three years ago. They won the next year. They won this year. Three times on a row, his prophecy stayed. I don't, I don't know whether you're getting what I mean. This is a podcast, bro. His prophecy stayed. And then I have not received him prophesying who is going to win. I've not seen a video. He does that not really on live stream now. He does that in caucus. You get what I mean? So I was just having a feeling in another podcast where he was talking less of us. You know, and I was like, guys, let me just channel this and do this. And I was like, from the look of things, I am just drawing some energies from the man of God. I'm not a prophet. I can't see anything. I'm saying it for a fact. All right. But I just have that energy. I feel it. That man, at that time, Arsenal was leading the table. And I was like, I just have that feeling that in the minds and in the eyes and in the vision of Prophet of the Angel, it will be Manchester City again. And I just said, Guys, know this. Manchester City, I believe, will win again. Even though I've not seen the prophets come out to say anything. And they did one. And then afterwards, it was a caucus video they did, which wasn't live or online. And then they brought the evidence out on several occasions. They said, Manchester City is going to win. And they win. So are you going to tell me that this person is not supposed to rock shoulders with, you know, Prophet T.B. Joshua? Are you kidding me? Guys, welcome to the podcast. Make sure you subscribe, share, like this video. My name is Trader Engstein. I break down gospel videos like this. I'm just speaking the truth. Facts, bro. Facts. Give me a like. Give me a share. If you love this, I'm out.